Hello everyone, I'm the Technomancer and welcome back to Minecraft Augmented Trade. Last time we built ourselves a matter replicator, very fancy, and we also now have our first mode of proper transportation with the teleporter, the or the transporter as it's called. Now, what we are going to do today is we want to get our food situation for our dinosaurs sorted. So off camera, I have been very busy. Uh, I have made the factory for the second building. Uh, not much in it at the moment. We have two chests for carnivores and herbivores. And down here, I have cleared out this massive room for our farms. So this one on the left is for carrots, the one in the middle is for cows, and the one on the right is for wheat to feed them cows. All of them are hooked up automatically, the wheat goes into here to breed the cows and the beef and that comes out, and then the carrots uh, come out and goes into the chest. And the uh, leather and seeds get filtered out as well, things that we don't need. So. Uh, in case any of you are wondering what this stuff is, uh, this is liquid ethereum. Now this, uh, there was a pool of it on the surface and when I was digging out this room it fell down and since it emits light I thought it would be quite cool to have a bunch of these just like a, a bit more of a decoration. I thought it looks quite good. So what we need to do is get all the uh, things. So I have a bunch of carrots, we have tons of seeds. And I also have the cows ready to go. So, uh, carrots. We have 22, not many. Uh, seeds. We have 137. We're going to take all of these. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to halve these. We've got two farms as well as that. And we have golden lasso. We have four cows. Okay, let's go and put these down. So, firstly, we put down the cows. One, two. I'm a little bit skeptical about this. Because there's a pipe at the top, I can't put down any fences over it. And they can actually get through here. I tried putting some fences on here, but they can still get through that gap. So I'm a little bit worried. I might have to put like a fence around the back of it if they can get out. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, then we need to put down the other two in here. I should have these both set up correctly. Did I set them up? Um, yeah, 64 cows and the other one 64. Okay, right. So, uh, now this one is the wheat. So we need to put in the seeds. There we go. And the other side as well. Over here. Okay. And then finally the carrots. Not many of these. But it will make more eventually. Last one. Here. There we go. Okay. Now. The wheat should grow pretty quickly because we have a lot of them and then they should grow uh, into the cows and then they will grow up and then by the time we get a load of cows we should have a load of carrots oh my god this storm is really bad okay so what we want to do uh, first is I want to see if I can make that pedestal to increase the speed of our crops because we have the ring and I have been getting lots and lots of uranium and diamonds so hopefully we can make more dark matter I had to go into creative mode and break this and then spawn in the block because it just was not working so can I yes I'm going to turn that back into dark matter okay so we just need one of these okay uh, so now let's get our uranium 300 plus uranium there we go and the yellorium, whoops a daisy, yellorium, yellorium, there we go, got only 700 of that. Okay, and I think we'll take half of our diamonds. Um, I 
a stack that'll do okay all right so now we can use our transporter to go to our starter base also I noticed that that's the same sound as in Star Trek when they beam someone up oh I left the door open that was bad okay <laughs> right so uh, we take this out we have an extra four diamonds in here okay we put in the dark matter all right so now we put in these four diamonds 64 diamonds <laughs> okay and then all of this uranium and eulorium and we should be making lots and lots of dark matter oh yes look at that we should definitely be able to make a pedestal we may even be able to make two so we could have hmm I'm not sure what the range is for these things oh my god that is so much better oh screw diamonds uranium and eulorium is the way to go because we're not going to be getting into big reactors I want to do that fusion reactor from um, matter overdrive now the problem is they spawn naturally in the world so I, I don't think you can actually move them so what I may have to do is just like spawn one in at a specific location because you don't make the uh, the oh, what they called the the gravitational anomalies. That's it. You don't make them. They you just find them. So it would be okay if I just spawn it in a location because I want it to be in our base and not just found somewhere a million miles away. How the heck are you going to transport the energy from there? I, I I don't think you can um like move them. I'm not sure. But if that's the case, then it should be okay. Alright, so now we have all of our dark matter. Oh my god, what is this storm that's coming? Is it just a thunderstorm? It's not even coming up, so it must be really far away. Okay, so we did have some more dark matter in here. Uh, five more. 39, okay, right. So, there are a few things we need to do. So, uh, pedestal. There it is, dark matter pedestal. So... It's five blocks of dark matter, okay, um, and that's four, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, we have 19 left, we need four red matter, which is three dark matter and eight analysis fuel, so let's just see if we can do that, one, two, three, four, yes we can, we have seven spare, Okay, now we just need to make a bunch of the eight knowledge fuel. We have coal. A heck of a lot of it. And it's just... Uh, is it this? Oh, hang on. You also need the philosopher's stone, don't you? Uh, fill, there it is. Uh, um, ah, there we go. It's just that. Okay, right. So... Alchemical coal. Let's make. Oh, okay, that's all we can make. All right, so the alchemical coal into Mobius fuel, and then let's do this, and then the Mobius fuel into. Eternalis fuel. Just making a whole bunch. We can always EMC this back into something else later. There we go. Okay. So, hopefully that's enough. Oh, no, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, hang on. Do we have any coal blocks? We should have... Hang on, is it block of coal, maybe? Block. Oh no, I must have used all the blocks of coal. Oh man. There might be some more uh, in the quarry chest. So if I were going to make three. Let's see if there's more coal in the. Ooh, what am I doing? We've got a transporter now. Screw walking. Boom. Oh, where am I going? 
uh, nearly another two stacks. Hmm, not sh What am I doing? We have dark, we can, we can EMC the bloody... I cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh no, we're gonna have to wait until we get more coal. We have a freaking EMC machine. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's just make a whole bunch of this. There we go. Four red matter. Boom! Even better matter. Right, so now it's five of these, four red matter. And boom, one dark matter pedestal. <laughs> oh yes. Finally, God, I thought we'd never reach there. Okay, now we just need the ring. Um, is it a harvest ring, maybe? Ha there it is. It's harvest goddess band. Okay, there we go. Right, let's put these back in there. So this should rapidly grow our crops. I think I harvest them as well, actually. Accelerates growth of nearby crops. Harvest nearby crops. Activates every 0.5 seconds. Okay. I have no idea what the range of this thing is. Um, that's... Oh! Holy crap! It's happening! I'm just standing here. <gasps> Look at it go! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Look at it! It's like super bone meal! Holy crap! That is amazing! Oh my god, it's just... Wow. Right, uh, so I want to put it in the middle... Um... Okay, I'm gonna have to do something crazy. I say crazy. It's just going to look weird. <laughs> I just need a block. Any block. Right. Ooh. Okay. So, if I... I'm hoping this works. If I just put that there, and then put this here... Ah, yes, it does. I can break that. That should uh, re-crop it. Okay. Then if I put this on here, oh, I need to shift right click, put that on there, and then right click. But, oh my! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is awesome. So that turns it off, and that turns it on. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! That is amazing. Holy crap. Okay, so the, yeah, the wheat is being taken out. The seeds are being put back in. The wheat should be going into here, which it is, which is breeding the cows. Oh, it's already going. Oh, that is amazing. That does have a pretty big range. Is it? What range is it? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like it has a five by five range. Oh my god. Oh, if we had three more of these. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, they are incredibly expensive, as you just saw. I mean, we can make a lot of coal for the Eternalis fuel and that, but... Oh, man. I mean, we just use, like, all of our uranium and eulorium to make a bunch of red matter. And we don't have enough red matter to make enough. <laughs> Sorry, uh, dark matter. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Look at it go! It's growing and harvesting them faster than this. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Oh my god. Maybe I should turn it off for a moment just to uh, let it plant the seeds. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my god. You know, I'm, I'm curious. It says that this thing uses RF, but I thought you could only use these torque things. Maybe you can just use power cables. I'm curious. Really curious. Because if that's the case, then I've got a terrible setup. I wonder if... Oh, hang on. Let's just see if... Um... No, we got 
we've got nothing yet. <laughs> uh, so if I just get, I've got some universal cable. Um, do I have? I have a generator that will work. Actually, I was going to get an energy cell. Oh, uh, I need some coal for it. Let's put this metal chemical coal. Here we go. That works. It's just four times better than coal. Okay, so if I put this down here, oh, that actually already has some power in it. If I put that there, does that? No, it does not. Wait, that's spinning faster now. It's a max. It's got... Um... Has it worked? Hang on. Oh my god. But the power's not going down. It is definitely replanting the seeds. think. Wait. Where are the seeds? I could have sworn it. Is... Wait a minute. This can't be right. Is planting. Hmm. Let's put one there. So if I turn it on, now it's not harvesting. The heck. Um... This is... Weird. Okay, let's just... Yeah, I'm gonna... Just um, put that back to how it was, because uh, okay, not entirely sure what's going on. Let's just leave it for now. <laughs> okay, so we got the farms up and running. Let's just uh, right. What we want to do next is we want to get our dinosaurs working. So. Uh, I got a bunch of this archaeology workbench, the analyzer. Was that everything? Can we search mod? Foss. Whoops. Mm, don't think so. If I put that back in, no, it doesn't. I think that's all we got. Let me just have a quick look. If there was anything else from that mod, machine wise. 
Okay, so there isn't anything else from that mod. However, I have noticed that I didn't use the holographic signs on them chests. I should have done that. Because that would have looked so much cooler. Okay, let's um change that to a holographic sign. Okay, so um Let's see. Herbivores. Whoops, a daisy. Is it herbiv Yes, I think that's correct. Auto line size. That's a bit low. Uh, can I? Oh, oh. Hang on. There we go. Herbivores. I think that was spelled correctly. And then, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. And then finally, carnivores. Carnivores. There we go. Hey, there we go. Herbivores and carnivores. They're a bit big, but it looks much cooler. <laughs> okay, right. So, let's put these back. Now, I want to automate this. So, let me get some item ducts and some servos. And have we got any iron chests? Yes, three. Okay, I think I'll need Two. Okay, so let's set this up in here with all the other dino stuff. Let's put them over here. Okay, so the analyzer, you put fossils in here, it analyzes it, and you get stuff. So if we put that there, chest there, server one there, and then that there, server one there, and a chest there. Okay. Right. Uh, let's put this oops, lazy, get there. Okay, not sure exactly how that works. Um, but let's grab some fossils. Uh, let's grab some bio fossil and we'll see because we've got tons of that. Let's see what that does in the analyzer. If it will go through these chests, let's see. Uh, oh. It's just been pulled straight out. Okay, um. Huh. Um. Has to go in there. So why is it going in there? Maybe it's got to be top and bottom? That just makes bone meal. Okay. So why is it being put in that one? I can't manually put it in there, so why... Hmm. Interesting. Let's try something else. What if we... Uh, put it here like that. Where will that put it? There we go. So it has to be on the top. Okay, that looks a bit weird, so we're going to change that. We're going to put that. Oh, whoops, a daisy, I broke the glass. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to do this like. Oh, why does it do that with a glove? That's so annoying. It's going to have to be like this. So it doesn't connect. Okay. Right, stick that in there. I need to get some more glass to fix that, but that should be working. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Right, so I don't know what else them things make. 
So let's just put these back in here and then you just get some glass. Fix that. Okay, it's really annoying that pipes and cables connect with the glass panes like that. It's really annoying. I wish they wouldn't. So is that only getting us... Oh, wait, no, we are... Oh, Stegosaurus DNA! Oh, we've already got our first dinosaur DNA. Oh, brilliant. Okay, right, now let's get all of our fossils.